Thanks everybody for watching. My name is Matthew Ray. This video is in response to a video by Nare Soul. Uh, she released a video today talking about uh, loopers and her first interaction with a looper and using a looper with her keyboard, as you can see in this video here. It's a fantastic video. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, I love seeing some of my favorite music uh, um, personalities, especially Adam Neely, interact with a looper. I don't think I've ever seen him interact with a looper, and he's done stuff with Ableton, and I just think it's really cool to see him interact. And Jeff Schneider, seeing him kind of like sort through how it works when you push it and stuff is just really cool. So love this video. Um, but as you can see, her setup is a little bit crazy. So I wanted to kind of go through and detail a much easier way to set this up, um, a much more portable setup for her, so she's not having to carry a loop pedal and a battery to power that and an extra recorder and all this other stuff. So um, I'm going to kind of go through uh, the much more portable setup I have and that I use for things like this. Um, as you can see, I have a battery-powered keyboard here. Uh, then I have a cable to connect it into this thing called an iRig. And the iRig is just, um, all it is, is a quarter inch input for a guitar. Uh, it is an eighth inch output for headphones, stereo 3.5 millimeter. And then the uh, TRRS connector that goes into most phones. And so I'm using just the standard adapter. And then on my phone, I have an app called Loopy. And Loopy, I'm using Loopy HD, is an app by a guy designed by a guy named Tasty Pixel. He's a fantastic guy. I've never met him, but I'm subscribed to his channel on YouTube. Uh, and he makes a lot of really great apps. Uh, Loopy actually syncs with Ableton Link and is one of the most powerful looping apps that I've been able to find, although there are many more, uh, but it's definitely the one I recommend. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. I just really enjoy it. So uh, what I did want to do uh, is kind of talk about and demonstrate some of the features in Loopy. Uh, there's many ways to set this up, but at its most basic, it works just like a looper. And as Nare kind of explains in her video, the way a looper works is you press the button once to start a loop, and you press the button a second time to end the loop, and the time between when you first pressed and you last pressed is the length of the loop, and any rhythmic divisions inside of that is up to you how you would like to do it, and then the looper will continue to loop those things. Uh, the looper also lets you overdub on top of that, so if you play one part, you can then play another one on top of it, and then another one on top of it, and another one on top of it. Uh, Loopy happens to have multiple tracks where you can actually start and play different parts that work in the same fashion. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna just kind of demonstrate a little bit of what that looks like. So as you can see, uh, it's just a very basic looper. One of the things I did demonstrate there is that with Loopy, you can actually record multiple lengths of loops on different clips. So instead of just having one, uh, you have two. But the lengths are always divisions of each other. So if your first loop is uh, one bar, for example, at a certain tempo, which you set by the length of your loop, then your next one can either be two bars, four bars, eight bars, or it can be half a bar, a beat, or subdivisions inside of that. And all that's configurable within the Loopy app. So this works a lot like a looper. And as you can see, the different colors of the states in Loopy uh, represent different things. And then Loopy also has some cool gesture controls, like if you want to delete a loop, you just pull down on it and you hit clear. Um, I'm not going to do that right now. That is also how you get to your re-records. If you want to overdub into a loop, you can do that there also. You can also combine loops. So if you take a loop from one place and drag it to another, you can actually combine them into one. You have volume control over your loop uh, by dragging around the outside of the loop. And then I think you also have pans. If you hold the loop here, you have control over your import, share, volume, and pan uh, there as well. So there's a lot of controls in this app itself. It does a lot. But one of the other things, because um, Nare has her looper connected to a recorder, is that this actually has a recording feature built into it. So you can record your entire session, including the input of what's happening. So you can record the input and the output all at the same time, which is really, really cool. So um, 
all of this is available on this app. Like I said, you can get it. Uh, I'll put a link to the Loopy app in the description. I'll put a link to this in the description, the iRig. Uh, there's actually multiple different kinds of iRigs. You don't have to get this one, but there are many kinds. And then all you need is the cables to connect it all together. Of course, plug in your headphones and any other things like this. So anyway, thanks everybody for watching. That's kind of my introduction to loopers. It's my response to Nare's video. I uh, really appreciate y'all watching. Again, my name is Matthew Ray Music. Uh, I go live on Twitch all the time, talking about music, making music, jamming with my roommate Seth, doing DJ sets live at the club, uh, all of it. So come check me out and uh, have a great day. Thanks so much.